Hey, I'm Randy and you're watching The Cheap Audio Man. Here at The Cheap Audio Man, we talk about high value, hi-fi, home theater, all the components that go into that, including DACs. We're doing a DAC tier list today and I can't take 100% credit for these because Doug at DMS and Josh over at Joshua Valor, they're the ones that kind of pioneered these tier lists. Maybe other people have done it before them, but I'm gonna say they did it first. And you may not know this about uh, Doug over at DMS, but he walked away from a lucrative MMA career to start his channel. And Josh Valor, prior to his channel, he uh, domesticated, he's the first person to domesticate an entire family of, of sea lions right before they were all eaten by a great white shark. Probably didn't know that. Okay, sponsor. Today's sponsor, let me check. Okay, I'm in a good spot. Today's sponsor is, all right, let me see if I can get this one right. I had to write this one down. Okay, today's sponsor is Sith Audio Plastic Japanese Fighting Sword Replicas. We all know how important it is to expose children at the earliest of age to bladed weapons, but you and I both know that sometimes they can make a real mess of the family pet if they're not trained properly. That's why you should get a Sith Audio Japanese fighting sword replica for your children, for your young toddler children, so that they know how to properly utilize a uh, Japanese fighting sword. Okay, sorry about that. I, I went offline because I'm on Wi-Fi. Okay, so we're gonna do 25, 26 DAX today. Let me count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Okay, 26 DAX today. Now, before anybody gets in the comments and say that DAX are snake oil, well, first of all, they're not. But second of all, if you do think DAX are snake oil, go out and buy a Dragonfly Black or a Helm Bolt and then listen to some headphones through the 3.5 millimeter jack on your laptop or your iPad or what have you, and then listen to them through the Helm Bolt or the Dragonfly Red and make up your mind for yourself. Don't just say DAX or snake oil, they all sound alike, because they don't. Maybe it has to do with the DAC chip, probably has to do with the analog output stage, it doesn't matter. DAX make a difference and they, they make your music sound better. Okay, okay. So. Let's start off with, okay, and S tier is the best. That means it's the best of the best of the best. And then A tier down to F tier. So you probably know, if you've ever seen a tier list before, you probably know how this works. All right, let's start off with the Schkit Bifrost 2. Y'all might be familiar with the Bifrost 2. It's a very popular deck. It has balanced outputs around $700, okay? Very good. Fixed output. Um, we are going to put the Bifrost 2 in B tier. Reason being at $700, there's other stuff out there that is a little bit cheaper, but the thing about the Bifrost 2 is it sound stages pretty well. And some of the other lower priced offerings that offer balanced outputs don't sound stage quite as well. All right, what do we got next? Okay. Let's go the Ear Studio M100 Mark II. Now, some of these are going to be not a traditional DAC per se, they could be a dongle DAC, but all of these, for the most part, first and foremost, are DACs. So, Ear Studio M100 Mark II, it is a Bluetooth receiver, but can also be used as a USB DAC. Cool thing about this is it's going in S tier. It's $80 right now, but it has one of the best companion apps Frankly, most DACs don't have a companion app. This DAC has a companion app with 10 band parametric EQ, whole bunch of good stuff, and it is incredible. You can actually use it as a preamp. I've used it as a Bluetooth receiver, kind of as a Bluetooth receiving preamp, okay? Anyway, it works. Doesn't put out two volts per se, but it will get close. All right, Ear Studio M100 Mark II. S tier. Matrix Mini Pro 3 Plus. We're gonna go D tier with this. It sounds pretty good. It's a balanced DAC, but it also has, it's a Rune endpoint and a quote unquote streamer. It's fine, but at $1,025, ugh, 
that's that's pushing it for me. I didn't I didn't particularly think it sound staged all that well. Orchard Audio Pecan Pie. This is a DAC only for use with Raspberry Pi. So if you have Volumio or if you have Ropi E or using it as a rune endpoint, this is a balanced DAC and it also can be used as a headphone amp with a, I don't know, one of those cord things. Put the cord in. Uh, Raspberry Pi Orchard Audio is $250. So it's going to go into B tier. It sounds fantastic. It has a great soundstage. Very warm. Not really warm, but uh, full. It's full sounding DAC. It's fantastic. But it is limited in its use case. So if you're Raspberry Pi and you have the extra money for a DAC, this is a great DAC. It's actually one of the best Raspberry Pi DACs you can probably get. It's going to be tier though, because it's, it's kind of pricey. Okay, what do we have here? This is the SMSL M300. Yes, M300 balanced DAC has Bluetooth, but it doesn't have L DAC. It's getting a bit long in the tooth. It's been around for a while. AKM chipset. I'm gonna say it's 230 bucks. It's pretty good. To, eh, we're gonna go C tier with this. It's pretty good. It can be a bit harsh on top at times, but it's still pretty good. Two hundred thirty dollars for a balanced stack is pretty good. All right, we got a child interruption right now. Dad, hey, baby. Can you put this on? Me? Sure thing, baby. All right, there you go. Can you close the door for me, biscuit? Thank you. Love you. That's my daughter. I had to put a bracelet on her. Okay. Okay, let's go Hi-Fi Berry Digi Pro. This is another Raspberry Pi. No, it's not even a DAC. It's only a digital. You have to put that in a DAC. All right. We're going we're gonna to put that in F tier. Because it's not even a DAC. I don't even know why I included it. Sorry. Sorry. These aren't as easy as you think they are. Okay. Let's go with the... And close that out. Sorry. Let's go with the shit. Skit Modi 3 Plus S tier. That is one of the best DACs one can get at $100. It is only a DAC though. There's no variable output. So you get what you get. Full size USB, full size optical, full size coaxial, but it sounds fantastic. It really is a benchmark DAC at around 100 bucks. All right, what do we have here? iFi Neo IDSD. It's a balanced DAC. I think it's $800 right now. Does MQA and it's F tier. It is F tier because it sounds okay. It's way overpriced for what it is. It's it, there's nothing remarkable at all about it except for how it looks and and not even how it's built. It's not even built that well. The buttons are kind of loose in there. I was not impressed at $800 especially. Let's do Sanskrit. SMSL Sanskrit's another $100 DAC. I'm going to go D tier here. Well, I'll put it up in C tiers. I'll put it in C tier if you're using headphones. If you're using speakers, it's D tier. It's another AKM DAC. A little bit thin, a little bit harsh on top. Does come with remote control though. If you have warmer speakers, it's going to be fine. But if you have a little bit lively speaker, it's not going to be very good. It's going to be too harsh. But it's $100. And these are all done on, on value, by the way, not on overall sound quality. All right. What do we have here? Let's go iFi Zen, iFi Zen, or iFi Neo IDSD. You got an F tier. Zen is going to go to B tier. Sounds pretty good. Burr Brown chipset, pretty analog sounding. Also has a headphone amplifier. Not going to be the last word in detail, but it does handle MQA. You know what? It's going down to C tier. And the reason why it's going down to C tier is because it's USB only. So you don't have a lot of. Mm, you can't, you can't do a whole bunch of different inputs on it. Sorry. This is going to be a nightmare to edit. Okay. You don't have a ton of inputs. You only have USB. So it only obviously works with USB. All right. What else do we have here? Let's do a dongle deck. The ha, 
high diz S9 Pro is going into A tier. It is not only a great DAC chip, it's the uh, Sabre 9038 QTM, I believe, which is also the same DAC chip which is utilized in the Dragonfly Cobalt, which is $300. This is $120. So it's a fantastic deal, but it also sounds really good. However, if you have some lively headphones, i.e. Grado SR80Es or 80Xs, can be a bit harsh on top with that one. But if you have a neutral headphone, it's gonna sound great. Even a headphone that is V-shaped, as long as it's not popped up, another child interruption. What can I do for you, kiddo? You want it on again? All right. Now listen, I'm working, okay? So can you go close the door? It's not tight enough. It's not tight enough? I'll put it tighter then. There you go. Can you close the door, please? Thank you. Sorry about that. Where were we? Helm bolt. Let's see. Another dot. No, we're not going to do the helm bolt. We are going to do, I believe, this is the SMSL SU8S. Has MQA, has LDAC Bluetooth receiver. It is $350. No, $330. It's going to go B tier. Very good sounding, has a bunch of different roll off modes. It is a neutral to detailed DAC. It's not overtly detailed. Lots of options. MQA, I think I said that. But it's it's not like perfect, but it's a good deal. It's a very good deal. Oh, FX Audio D01. We'll go B tier with this one. This would be A tier if it had a remote control. So this is an LDAC Bluetooth receiver with all the other codecs. Also a pretty decent Sabre DAC and it has a headphone amp in it. So it is, I would say this is a better deal than the iFi Zen, but it has a different sound signature. So some people are, are gonna like the iFi Zen more than the FX Audio. All right, what do we have here? Topping D50S, that's going to be D tier. And we might as well just eliminate E tier because that doesn't make any sense to me. So we're just gonna pretend like E tier doesn't belong. All right, topping D50S. So the reason why it's going into D tier is because it's long in the tooth. There are some copies out there, i.e. live audio, that actually have a headphone amplifier in them as well. All right, we have yet another child interruption. Ella, what do you need, baby? I don't know, sweetie. All right, babe. Can you close the door? Okay, well, can you uh, go talk to mommy? Please don't touch anything with this, okay? Go talk to Taylor. Come on now. All right, close the door, please. Thank you. Love you. Love you. Okay. It's Saturday here. It's the kids are, you know, they're running around. All right, what do we have left here? That is, this is the topping E30, I believe. That is going to be, I'm putting it in F tier just because I can literally not listen to it. It's pretty harsh, maybe D tier. We're gonna leave it in F tier, but it's it's pretty harsh. It's, it's quite harsh, it's not great. Oh, we were doing topping D50S. And you know what, we already had topping D50S in there, all right. Let's see, Sonkaz, one of the worst measuring DACs of all time, uh, but it's $15. So we'll go B tier, just if you have something that has volume control, but you need a DAC for your television or something else, and you don't really care that it sounds perfect, but it's gonna sound better on your TV, we'll go B tier, it's 15 bucks. Ooh, topping D90 SE. F tier, F tier, because it's $900. And the topping E50 sounds pretty similar. And it's $260. So get the topping E50 if you're at all interested in the topping D90 SE. Topping D90 SE supposedly measures perfectly. E50 measures great as well. D90 SE, not a big sound stage, closed in, sounds okay, sounds good, sounds pretty warm, has a bit of uh, body, has, sounds great, but not for 
Get the E50 instead, it's way better. All right, SMSL M200, another balanced DAC from SMSL. Uh, I'm gonna say D tier. You could either, you could say these two could, could switch places, M300 or the M200. The M200 basically made it up perfectly, had the same design as the SMSL THX amp. And at the time, it wasn't a bad deal as LDAC Bluetooth receiving, but it's, again, a little bit long in the tooth, AKM chip. I think there's better options out there with Sabre chips. Helm bolt, uh, we'll go B tier. That's a hundred bucks and it sounds pretty good. MQA, but MQA doesn't really work very well unless you have the USB Audio Player Pro on your Android. It's finicky. It works on computers just fine for MQA, but it's finicky with phones for MQA. But it still sounds pretty good. It's a Sabre, Sabre chip. Sounds pretty good. No balanced output, though. Okay, uh, the Apple. Apple Lightning to 3.5 millimeter adapter. This is S tier, and the reason why is it's $10. It sounds pretty good. It will not do 24 192, but it will do 2496. I'd argue at $10, you're not really going to be able to tell the difference anyway. So it is fantastic. One of the best deals up here. It's great. I buy two, buy three of them if you have an iPhone or an iPad. Just keep them around the house because sometimes I don't even go and look for a dongle DAC if it's not readily available to me. I just use this and it sounds great. Dragonfly Red will go C tier. It's $200, 3.5 millimeter single-ended output. Uh, $200, it still sounds very good though. And if you have very detailed or somewhat harsh headphones, it is going to tame those down and it's quite good. Again, you're gonna lose a little bit of detail with it, but if you have V-shaped or highly detailed headphones, it's gonna balance them out pretty good. All right, E50 from Topping. A, uh, a tier, definitely. So this is really the D90SE killer at 270 odd dollars. It has TRS balanced inputs uh, or TS, TRS balanced outputs. It's very, very good. The only thing I don't like about it is it lacks physical controls. So if you lose your remote control, you're hosed because you're not gonna be able to control it. But it uses the standard topping something 15A remote control, which can be found everywhere so bad news is it doesn't have physical control good news is it doesn't use any weird remote control that you're not gonna be able to get to okay let's go son cause la qx d1 i think that is i'll say i'll say b tier and the reason why is 230 dollars it's a balanced dac with a very good saber chipset i think it's 93 9038 QTM, I think. Okay, I'm way over here. I'm gonna go over here now. Sorry, sorry, I'm not very good at this. Anyway, 9038 QTM. So it is pretty good. No remote control though, no remote control. Okay, what do we have left? We have the Topping EX5. It's gonna be C tier because it's a little bit thin and it wouldn't be C tier, it would be B tier if I hadn't heard the topping E50. But at $350, the EX5 sounds great. It's a collaboration with Shenzhen Audio and Topping. It sounds great, has a headphone amp, has balanced connections. Actually, we're gonna go B tier. It's pretty good. But I think the, e, the E50 sounds much better. And at $350, you can get the E50 for 270 and then use whatever headphone amp you have available or get something, uh, get, uh, what is it, Magni for a hundred bucks. Anyway, it's decent, it's good, it's good, it's good. It doesn't sound as good as the E50. All right, finally, Den Denifreps, Aries 2, S tier. It's expensive, it's $800, but I will say, this is the best sounding DAC I've ever heard from an immersive standpoint, immersion standpoint. Even from a sound standpoint, it is fantastic on speakers. Even on headphones, it's still fantastic, but you're not going to appreciate this DAC unless you have it on speakers because it gives a 
ginormous soundstage, great instrument separation. It is fantastic. Okay, so to recap, in S tier we have the Ear Studio M100 Mark II, Bluetooth receiver, but you can also use it, use it as a dongle DAC basically. Schkit, Modi 3 Plus, Apple iPhone Lightning to 3.5 millimeter adapter, Denifreps Aries 2, a tier we have S9 Pro by High Diz and the topping E50. B tier Sh Schkit Bifrost, the Orchard Audio Pecan Pie hat, the SMSL SU8S, FX Audio D01, the Song Cause, I don't know, not the Song Cause, the uh, uh, Prozor. I always want to call it Prozac. Prozor, Helm Bolt, Song Cause LAQX D1. EX5 by uh, Topping and Shenzhen Audio. Shenzhen Audio. Okay. And then you have the M300, the Sanskrit, the iFi Zen, uh, Dragonfly Red. Down here you have the M200 from SMSL, the Topping D50S, the Matrix Mini 3 Plus. Then on the bottom we have a, something that's not even a DAC. We have the iFi Neo IDSD. It's a horrible deal. We have the Topping E30, it's harsh. And then finally the Topping D90 SE, which is overpriced. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this. If you wanna support the channel, you can sign up for Patreon, patreon.com slash cheap audio man. Every Sunday night we have Patreon only Zooms. We also have a Patreon only Facebook group. You can also sign up for Amazon Music. There's a link in the description. Sign up, you get a couple of months, two, three months for free. I get a couple of dollars. Most of these are gonna be affiliate links. And if you purchase through those links, I will get a commission. It doesn't cost you any more though. So it's a great way to support the channel if you want to, okay? So don't binge watch anything on Netflix or Hulu. Binge, listen. There are any of these DACs? Well, most of them. I'd say C tier and above. C tier and above. There's lots of, lots of choices here. Binge listen through one of your new DACs and fill your soul with happiness. With that, I'm Randy. I'm the Cheap Audio Man.